what the heck? Give us a hug. What the? What the hell? Two hundred ninety-seven. A tape to remember. Yeah, I can say the thing. He might be right. It's isn't it the right thing to do, yeah? Because I'm with my boy. I'm staying with him no matter what. Oh, I gonna fucking spank Charlie for that. Thinking I gonna send him to his room. Ah, she's always so supportive. That's a lot of days. A holiday update? Okay, that's cool, I guess. What's that? Wait, 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 wait. politicians into humans. Oh. Just don't get drawn into talking about the war. They do know this is the news, don't they? Fuck, advance! Oh, it's really dark. Apparently, there's a crew at Team HQ right now. I'm just going to speak for something tonight. They'll get on the names. Oh, great, so they get the brains and we get the performing monkey. Sometimes you sound just like him, you know? Which tells the cautionary tale of one you? brave young lady's battles to survive the cruel administrations of our neighbours. It is eleven twenty-five. It's inside us. It is tonight. Doctor Adrian Atkinson Blyney. I listen to you now. What happened? Ten seconds, everybody. On the humble dog. Rumpled dog. So. Mm. Going in five, four, oh. three. Poor girl. Good evening. This is the National Nightly News. What's I'm that? It's the 140th day of war. Our main headlines tonight. Company of Heroes. Skirmishes on land and sea again today as our armed forces tested the metal of the World Council's illegal blockade. What? Advances strategy of multiple small-scale incursions into the disputed <laughs> zone is certainly keeping the enemy on high alert. Unable to work out That's where dead. or when the next strike will come. Sadly, however, more casualties were reported today, and as the weeks and months of this war make ever more demands on our armed what? services, those numbers will, tragically, only continue to rise. Uh. Don't starve. Advance's food program moved from strength to strength today as rationing depots were opened in the last remaining unfed areas of the territory. The rationing depots have been constructed in record time, and the government's uh, but everything sad. I know what's wrong with my Jeremy boy. ...with increasing regularity. However, with the reported rise in mental and physical health issues since the imposition of the blockade, critics have questioned whether those smaller communities which are only now starting mm. to receive help could have been Where better is served. Seven days to die. The recent decision to allow those uh -oh. with long-term health conditions to access transition centers has today been declared an overwhelming success. Previously available only to those in their final Everything's going to be sad the now. The expansion of the service has been met with relief by the many organizations calling for it to be opened Boo. up to the wider community. 
With dwindling medical yep, supplies okay. leaving many of our most vulnerable facing mm -hmm. chronic pain, it can come as no surprise that the transition centers have found themselves stretched to capacity. Populous. More than 11% of the population have thus far failed to register for a team membership card, a worrying statistic given that the cards are a legal requirement from midnight tonight. Oh, While applications are still open for those who like to run fashionably late, they can expect a few tricky questions from advance. Start me up. Disrupt spokesman Alan James held an impromptu rally today in the northern city of Manchester. Large crowds gathered to hear the band speaker prove Disrupt are oh, no, able gonna go to capture the public Good with him, yeah. A representative from the Manclipool community cohesion team described go, the like, event as chill. mostly peaceful. Yeah. But it looks like Disrupt aren't going quietly into the night. Yeah, that and was a good idea, tonight. I think. Our mutual friend. Oh. Bail was denied in the High Court today for shamed former National Nightly News anchor Jeremy Donaldson. The presenter will be transferred to new lodgings at Pension Ridge Prison, while the lengthy preparations for his trial, no. which is still 18 months away, begin. Since being taken into custody the 10 weeks ago in this very studio, little has been heard from our former colleague. Despite how things ended, at least he's he alive, that I'm happy we'll about. Sure to bring you all the details of that court case every mm. night. But first this evening, with the war about to enter its 21st punishing week, and people hurting up and down the country, I'll be grilling so unpredictable people. Everything has changed. In an exclusive interview from his home in Lampertshire. That's coming up on tonight. Look at everything! What is it? His bikes breaks and fucks. <laughs> we live in everything now. Fuck you! Well, could you get someone to look at it, please? Before I look like a complete prick. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, yeah, In part two, oh, I'm a little overexcited to announce. I'll be interviewing the one and only Lil C. And later we've Lil got a C? new feature that's sure to keep you coming back for more. But first tonight, Let's check in with Prime Minister Peter Clark, <laughs> who's speaking doing? to us from his home in Lanfordshire. Good evening, no. Prime Minister. Have we caught you exercising? Oh, Drinking, I think. Yes, that's right, Miss Wolf. I have just a few minor adjustments. I mean, nothing drastic. I haven't joined the gym more or anything. As the old man used to say, just because she won't take it up the shit, it doesn't mean you shouldn't try for a quick fiddle up the car park. Language, Prime Minister. What? Quick fiddle? What's wrong? Oh, shit. It's mm. shitter, isn't it? Yep, that's the one. And can you tell us what brought about this new you? Well, you know, yeah, you know the pain with C and I were watching, you know, the night the blockade began. I turned off that. Donaldson. Well, you know, and it was a blister or not, as I'm sure you all remember. Wait. And I, I were a bit wheezy. From all the cigars and all that. Her family for the cigar. first time in her life. She finds also wait, wait, what's happening? that she can no longer sleep peacefully at night. I listen to Clive. I could go on without you. She's dead. So I made a decision. And since what? that day, wait, wait, wait. I have it's exactly that. Snorking. I listen to Anna. Spends her lunch times in the school cafeteria. Fuck you! They have never met these three, and they are of different ages and social backgrounds, but they share a common experience. They share a nagging feeling that there is something deeply wrong in our utopia, and I share that feeling. And maybe you do too. I don't like you, but still, in the days you better than him. Ahead, I will be speaking throughout the country, but you don't need to wait for me. Disruptor everywhere, every bar. Every street corner. Look for us and you will find us. You are not alone. And advance and not the only team. Also, it doesn't seem very advanced to be going abroad when the rest of the country is grounded. And yet, Julia Salisbury announced today that she'll be visiting Svenland during this year's winter break. Finland? Really With my boy? <laughs> what? Did you know about this game? Another one? 
No one tells me. Scale? Jeremy Donaldson is to be put on trial. Let's all think about that for a moment. Yeah! One of the nation's most respected and beloved truth seekers is to be put on trial. And for what? Yeah! A gun around, he clearly had no intention of ever using. That Jeremy we all love Jeremy! Public breakdown is undeniable, but rather than law enforcement, wouldn't medical experts be the one to call? Of course, that was never going to happen. Jeremy Donaldson had a very public breakdown because he simply couldn't take what advance was Yeah! He knew that the national Jeremy's our boy. was being transformed I from like, you know. of truth into a fist bump. chat show. I know you're like in TV, but... Like her child fall under a predator's spell, he couldn't stand by and allow that to happen. He chose to stand up to advance. Yeah! And the response will be to destroy him. He will be discredited, Fuck shamed, you. tried and convicted. They will break him as an example to us all. But today... Disrupt has named him an officer in absentia. We welcome him to our ranks. We are with you, Jeremy. You do not stand alone. Yeah! Back to boring stuff. But I've been watching you, and you know what? You get more like him every day. I will take that as a compliment. Prime Minister, later on this evening, your co-leader, Julia Salisbury, is going to give a national address from team headquarters. Can you give us a hint of what she's going to say? Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, well, uh, you're stupid. I, I imagine that there sorry, will be sorry, the imagine? usual... Uh, no, what, what I mean, what do I mean you, is... You do know about this broadcast, don't you, Prime Minister? Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I did. Um, but Julia you and I... You do about them We don't <laughs> memorise each other's bloody diaries either. As my old man used to say, if you wanted to get a job done quick, don't get bogged down in the pew. What else you got? Sorry? Fuck what you for cars? this. What else? A little piece of my life do you want to rustle through? Get out! Refill my last! Cut him out! Mm, He's a moron. Oh, come on! Uh, come on! Okay. What music do you listen to when you work out? Well, <laughs> Gail tells me that I work out to the little C. But I have absolutely no fucking idea who that is. Yeah. Fuck Do you think the C stands for... It stands for collaborative, Prime Minister. Yeah, that's, that, that does make more sense, actually. Uh, how's rationing affecting you? It's hard, but we get by. You just yeah, I see with the alcohol. The uh -huh. Take comfort in each other. I've got Mrs. C and many a fine single malt. I want for nothing. Except for a decent night's sleep, of course. Fuck you. Thank you for joining us. When we come back, it's time for the culture spot with Lil C and all. In ambush! Get on that phone now, right now, to that. Find out what that duplicitous bitch is off. One minute back, everybody. And that is what happens when you wander from the cop. I don't think he knew about her statement. I don't think anyone's supposed to know. Crazy knew, yeah. Person's face turned a color, but I think you call it embolism. You gonna say something? Eh? The torture we never had. Oh, can't cook him. Who's Lil C? Who's Lil C? Are you winding me up? That's a weird calendar. I read books. Uh. Crazy new uh, yeah. I think okay. I don't need your help. I'm gonna be doing whatever I want now. You fucking took Jeremy from me? I can destroy everything! <clears throat> Chris and you! You wanna know where the elf on the shelf is? We've got elf on elf! Spend over and ready for you to take home! We got naughty Christmas nativities with naughty Christmas figurines! We got crazy Christmas. Christmas! Oh, she's big, really big. Really? Huh? Is she any good? Nah, of course not. You dog shit. 
but kids go mad for her, absolutely mad. Live in 10 seconds. Okay, we're going to be doing an assholes yeah, for that, maybe. Six or seven, I think. What? Five, four, three, two, one. Thanks for coming back. Later, we have an exciting new feature that we just know you're going to love, so stay tuned for that. But first, I'm really excited for our next guest. She rose to prominence as the delightful Susie May in All My Daughter's Children's Men before taking the music industry by storm this year with her debut album smashing the chart records at the age of just 20. Let's give it up and welcome Lil C. <laughs> <laughs> May I just say, you look incredible. Oh, thanks, Dave. I'm doing this new regime and it really Oh, my God, the well. voice. What's the regime? And my manager suggested it to me. It basically involves bathing in, like, cabbage water and then having the leaves Ooh. sucked out of you while you sleep. What? Wow, is, is that healthy? Oh, well, look at me, Meg. The leaves are my only nourishment. What are you doing, really? <laughs> Yep, they certainly are. Now, you'll have to forgive me, but I'm somewhat of a super fan, <gasps> so I'm sorry if I get a bit starstruck. <laughs> oh, bless super you. Fun. I've never actually heard of you before, so if you do get a little tongue-tied, I can always carry the interview. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good to know. So your first album, <coughs> My Face Together, it hit shelves this summer, and it just exploded. I mean, what was that like for you? Bonkers, just yeah. so weird. I was in all the papers and the magazines. Overnight, I went from that like annoying little girl from that show to that like well, little girl from the show. You're still annoying. Oh, that must have been bizarre. Not really. It was just like any other morning. You know, get up at five, go on a four mile run, have three meetings on my cabbage bath, but then only then was my mm. dad actually talking to me. Oh, of course. I mean, the famed country singer, Billy Bob Jean Short. I didn't know you'd been estranged. <laughs> well, there's nothing that strange about it, Megan. Okay, yes, he may believe that aliens told him to hate women, but there really isn't anything to prove that he's wrong. Uh-huh. Okay. So, uh, this newfound explosion into your popularity, I mean, did that change your life? Um, well, I had to start wearing, like, nice underwear, you know, for the paparazzi, but as the manager says, yeah. best to make the most of it before I'm 30. <laughs> Is that right? So, what, what's Ugh. the album about? So I thought it was about like how pretty and great I am, yeah. but actually it's about monetizing youth, I think, or about eh? like, an unrealistic standard of wait, youth. Wait, 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 that's Your manager again. stupid. Okay, yeah, he yeah. says insecurity is an opportunity. Oh, okay. okay. Do you think he'd be happy with you telling yeah, us all this? <laughs> telling you all what? It really doesn't matter what I say here. I'll do my dancing and then this part will it all be forgotten about. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're going to see some of those famous dance moves yeah. very shortly because you're going to be performing. That's a good idea you invited her. Yeah, it's on my album, Put It In My A Together. Let's go! And it's out to my A Together. And it's out. My friend let her 13 year old son join the Go Getters. He's occupied now. Busy, what? even. His room's never been tidier. Fuck that. But he keeps notebooks he won't let her read. What's the devil? Sometimes she catches him staring at her. And last week, she found him searching through her papers. Alan, you're okay? He always had a plausible answer, a good answer. But somehow it's too good. Let's deal with that. Been prepared in advance. Or possibly by them. Yeah. We want to know what the news will no longer tell us. Okay. And when we find out, we will tell you. We will it started with that from broadcast. the start, not about the we horror story. We will right to information. We will resist and we will disrupt. Things could have been different, you know, like better. But yeah, 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 exactly. I love doing autographs and having somebody dress me and tell me what to wear. <laughs> did you always want to do music? Uh, well, ever since I was a little girl, I did. I'd sit in front of the radio, and as soon as my favourite girl group would come on, I press record on my cassette. But then my dad would come in and tell me to turn it off and to go back upstairs and start practicing again. Oh, you so, sorry, is, you, is your dad your manager? Yeah, which can be tough. And sometimes when it gets really hard, he'll say, make Quagler proud and you might just survive childbirth. <laughs> well, you okay. know, despite anything, you'll make me proud. Oh, if only your opinion was as valuable as his. <laughs> and on that problematic note, uh, <sighs> you're going to be singing your song for us soon, aren't you? Uh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. So <laughs> it's called These Babies Gonna Bring You Home. And I actually got sent the lyrics in the car on the way up here. But you know what? It's what actually all right. I don't I worry. Something? All my work is team approved. All right, then. Well, you can I go and think get ready I heard for that. Something. We'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> It we do just a mic on them. 
specific type of pleasure <laughs> to chat to her, and I just can't wait to hear this. Whoa, so, this here we go. Fuck you. First performance of her new track, These Babies Gonna Bring You Home. Take it away. I don't want her to come back. Here to break in your blockades. Let's see. Oh, baby, can't you see? I'm hungry. There's a place in me that's empty. I want that meat you back in. Only you can feel that crack in me. I'm under siege, so come and free me. Ain't no disruption here, boy, I got no agenda. Just want the team and me, nobody far remember. Don't stop no morning drill, there's holes in me that ain't been filled yet. I only scream this loud when you do your country proud. I ain't no vehicle's daughter, come and skirmish on my border. Quickly. Enemy soldier. <laughs> I don't like that song. I better like the Mr. Bear. That's a real song. Mr. Bear. It's really loud. Okay. Dude, dude. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? He's gonna get the. Oh, wait, what? It's gonna be good for it. It's gonna be good for our news, especially. Yeah. Well, if that doesn't distract you from the world outside, I don't know what will. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to thank Phil C for, well, for doing that. Don't go anywhere. After the break, we'll finally be revealing the new se segment of our show that we just know you're gonna love. We'll be back right after this. And mm -hmm. we're out. What the fuck? Can I just say thank you so much for letting me do this? It really yeah. means a lot to me, you know, yeah. to be able to promote myself on such a mainstream platform like the news. Oh, well, don't worry about it. And you know what? Good luck for the future. Take care of yourself. This industry can be crazy sometimes. Yeah. Watch out for that far. What the f? Oh, no, no. What I manage the myself. It's just, you know, for the public to fuck certain things. Like, oh, what? Oh, right. And, and Michael? Oh, Michael? What about being popping jewels? What does that mean? Michael, I want you to revenue share the clothing line and get me a GMT before my knees move the lube, guys. They say for your pressure, I'm going to stop using it. Don't worry about it. Oh, 
What is that? A perfume, of course. Absolutely, right away. Ten seconds. Because who? Five. Yeah, that's a good perfume commercial. Thanks for joining us for part three. We've been teasing you about our new feature all night, and now the wait is finally over. I can reveal that every night on the show, we'll be treated to an episode of an informative and hilarious new segment called The Notice Board. It stars some top talent, and we're very excited about it. But Let's see what they have to see. see. Let's have a Let's quick see. chat with the writer, director, and phenomenon, may I say. Do you have algebra, guys? Actually, I've, uh, I've dropped the algebra. I go by Jeff Deplume now. Boo. How do you like that? Well, yeah, very fancy. I suppose you need a new name now that you're a successful artist. Well, exactly. I'm earning enough to pay taxes now. <laughs> oh. It's shit. And how does Angela feel about all this? Who? Your, uh, your wife. She loves her wife? Uh. His wife? <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, she's long gone. No, she was holding me back. I'm with Norm now. We were married last month. <laughs> mm -hmm. Norm de Plume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, why did you write this? Hmm? What was your inspiration? Oh, well, I, I received a telephone call offering me 25 grand to write a protein sitcom. And I heard my father's voice. It said, Jeff. You listen here, boy. You make it where the sun shines. You ring every penny you can get out of this. So I wheeled him down to the transition center, got out my typewriter and started clacking. Wow. <laughs> Utter shite. <laughs> and without further ado, let's give it up for the notice board. You have to play a sound effect, Alex. I try to play it. No! Good morning, Miss Craven. Oh, morning, Ray. Everything all right, Mrs. Craven? You look as worried as the vicar in closing time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ray, it's those young louts. They've vandalized my shop again. No! Yes! <laughs> They've written all sorts of obscene language and crude pictures, and I know it's those damn youths. Let's go with funny. No, it could be the vicar. Tell me, stupid. But yeah, let's be funny for him. I'm just worried they won't ever become productive members of the community. What if they never see the error of their ways and end up as social outcasts, such as shoplifters or boy <gasps> rats? Don't worry, Mrs. Craven. This is a very supportive community, and I'm sure that in time they will fit into this <laughs> society <laughs> like this key. Boo! Boo! Society, boo! See? Works like a charm. <laughs> what a lovely way to put it, Ray. And just like that, <laughs> we can unlock their future. Yes, yes. Wow. Look at all the letters in my collection today. I just love it. Oh, <laughs> I think that one's addressed to me. What? This, this one? Oh, so you're right. <laughs> Here it is. Did, did he give her a picture? My granddaughter, Bre Brenda. <laughs> she got an A on her maths exam because one of her friends has been helping her. She okay was always a team player with our Brenda. What's up, losers? Boo. Oh, 
No! It's Brad! He's the coolest guy in the village! That's right! I just got here on Boo. my motorbike! Oh! Clear off, Brad! Nobody likes you, Brad! Your ilk around here! What? Brad dudes? No! Ruffians! Have you come to tag the notice board with your gang signs? No way! <laughs> I've come to pin my resume on that notice board. I'm looking to do some tutoring after school. No! What? Did you say tutoring? You should That's be right. done. Maths is very important. <sighs> Would you mind, Ray? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so you, a young person, have been spending your time helping others and not just urinating on churches or huffing glue? Hey, I haven't huffed glue for months. Well, blow me down! <laughs> you, you know what? We misjudged you mm. based on how young and cool you are mm. and not on your actions. No boy. Nobody so likes you. You who vandalized my shop last night or <laughs> called me a poor boy. Old from the back of a chopper? No way. It can't have been me. I was too busy helping my friend Brenda Boo. with her maths homework. Could you speak up there? I thought for a minute there that you said Brenda. I did. You daft old sow. Did you hear Boo, that? That's, don't call her that. Yes, what a wonderful surprise. I now respect you as a man. Put her there, Ray. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Give us a hug. What the? What the hell? What's going on? Uh, sorry to interrupt the first groundbreaking episode of the notice board, what? but uh, we are receiving some breaking news. What was that? Um, I'm being told we are picking up reports from across the continent of what appear to be Um, what appear to be nuclear explosions in Ooh. four major foreign cities. Wait, 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 wait. Initial estimates put the death toll into... Uh, they put them into millions. Fuck! I'm, I'm being told we're experiencing um, some power shortages as a result, so apologies. apologies for the interruption. And apparently we can go live now to team headquarters for an emergency Was like broadcast that? from Prime Minister Julia Salisbury um, any moment. Yes. Yes, let's go to that now. Good evening, citizens and leaders of the world. Minutes ago, operatives working... What the fuck you did, guys? ...explosives simultaneously in four major cities across the continent. We have similar devices in 58 other urban centres. And will not hesitate to... Let's check it. Was, what's it all about? We are hearing stories of power fluctuations and what could be minor earthquakes uh, throughout the continent. Stand by. What? Immediately. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You will accept nothing less than your unconditional surrender. Your territories will be taken under our control. We will install replacement government. Can we get this confirmed? Can we get this verified? I need this verified. Our borders. What the hell is going on? Our people are our people. They will finally be fed and clothed and educated and healed. You have to know what's being done. What's being done right now to our neighbours. This is unprecedented. Our government has committed an act, multiple acts, of mass destruction in our name. Are we, are we staying with him? 
Alan. Nor do I care how you voted. You didn't vote for this. None of us did. They, we, this can't be. Uh, we are uh, waiting for the news and, oh, oh. What if they respond? Acceptance of our terms by midnight tonight. Thank you. It's from government. I, I don't really talk about my personal life in my job. It's not relevant or important. Um, so many of you may be surprised to learn that I have a brother. His name is David. Uh -huh. And right now I... I can't get a stupid face out of my head. He's a researcher and he's currently travelling the continent for work. And I don't... I don't know where he is right now. He's okay for sure, don't worry about it. And I should imagine that what there the are fuck many is going on here now? tonight digesting this, this news and you also have loved ones on the continent. In yep, Urkia, from the government. Or, Javier, or San Palmarino or, or Konislava, which is where David was when I last spoke to him three days ago. We'll so when I tell that. you I know how you are feeling tonight, believe me, I do. But I also know that there's, there's a flow to events. I see it every day here. I know that although tonight it feels like we may be in a time of fear and darkness, we may actually be at the break of a new dawn. Mm. We don't know that yet. We can't know that yet. But together we will find out. And I will be here every night feeling what you are feeling. And with your help, maybe we can all get to that brave new world. You swear about that explosion? My name's Megan Wolf. Let's make tomorrow better. And we're out. Fuck. We're ringing around, but the telephone networks are overloaded. Okay. We'll find him. Do we know exactly, exactly which cities were hit? Or Megan. Megan. Just we will find him. So where on earth are you supposed to go?